I'm talking to my girlfriend and I ask her if she would like this that I'm making for a Christmas present. She said, well, yeah. About you guys, somebody gave you a jar of homemade vanilla extract. How many of you would want one? I think I would. Somebody just going to give that to me for Christmas. Yeah. really pretty. You guys should look at something pretty when I'm talking. Guys, there's not much left. I gotta fix this thing. Looky, he's trying to fall over. I think I killed this one. These are perking up. I need to get them in the ground, guys. Got lots of things to do today. Hang on a second. All right, lots of things to do today. Come down here so you can see. That is what my garden looks like at the moment. Doesn't look good. Yeah, I cut that off and tried to save it. Put some in uh, ice cube trays. Look at that tree back there. He always turns pretty. All right, I need to get some plants in the ground. I am cleaning and you guys don't judge. You may see some dirt and things you don't want to see. Just close your eyes. I am going to try to clean out. I'm doing a lot of herbal stuff today. I'm so far behind. Here we go. Oh, there's Cooper. At least this room is not too much of a mess. Hold on. So, y'all see that mess? Oh, that's just about perfect, too. I gotta clean up my herbs. I got oils going. I got crafts going. Alright, let's dig in. I think maybe. I need to see what I got here. I got a mess. I know that. Let me turn this around. Hang on. Alrighty. I got a mess. Guys, okay, do you guys do this? Oh, see, I didn't think I marked it. No, no tag. It's down in there. So, this kind of stuff. Do you guys do that? Oh, what is it? Oh, it's passion. Flower leaves. Alright, I need to mark it out. that but guys that's just slices of orange that dehydrated I plan to make some pope free out of that and then I got all right this one's not marked but I know what it is we are gonna pull it out and we're gonna mark it Stevia lavender leaf oh maybe put that lavender gonna mark this I know what it is but I am getting old that is marigold tops all right 
What do I got here? Oregano. That's my own. What's this? Dandelion. This one's not marked. I need to mark it. That was Echinacea. That's still big stems and everything. I need to do something with it. Fine. Mullen. That's what me and Jim got out. Uh, we were either hunting or. We were either hunting or um, putting things out to start hunting about a year ago. Nope, April. It was April, so it was in the spring. This was elderberry flowers and rosemary. Parsley. Let me grind that up. Oh, surprise! I have no idea. I think it's uh, dehydrated green onions. I need to look. I need to smell. See? You guys do that? didn't even see that did you so see I got another shell so I got a lot of my own spices maybe some extras um, but a lot of this is stuff I do my time this one that'll leave that one's this one I bought all right that's about all I can do for now um, I need to mark this this is ground up Yarrow, in case somebody gets bleeding. I need to mark that. And that's just. I need to mark that. That's ground up hibiscus. And lemon balm. Alright. These are. I did have. I found more jars. I need to figure out something to do with my. It's just basil. Cat bit. Alright. It's just my own stuff. Um, I got a bunch. I did good this year. Remember? I got two big empty bottles. Alright. Empty jar. I've been finding lots of empty jars. Don't judge. Is that better? I've also been cleaning. You guys still can't see me. Let's try this again. to play. Can you see me now? Can you hear me now? Can you see me now? Jeez oh, Louise. I don't know. 
That is pine needles. I had these extra jars. I figured I'd make use of it instead of a What a mess. Just started off right and labeled. Gonna smell it. Yep. This ground onion. Yeah. I used to use it in my uh My ranch dressing. And I quit making that one on my diet. Okay, we're gonna put this back up. I need to figure out how to grow calendula because I ain't got that part figured out yet. the yarrow powders in front. I need to make some pine needle oil. Okay, that's that for a little bit. Now let's see what mess I got going on here. Can you guys see? That needs to go away. I got a mess, guys. Guys, I gotta catch up on my herb stuff today, so this video may be a mixture of different things. I've had some lavender oil going. I don't know if you can read that, but it's lavender and fractionated coconut oil. And I started it June 30th. I told you I was behind. 
Mm. I'm just going to strain it out. Wash these up. I'm going to let it strain for a little bit. Put it in another jar. Alright, let's get this going again. I had so much. I only had this and I had to pour it off. I still got this much to drain. Sorry. Alright, we are going to try to finish this project up. I'm going to fix something on this though. Didn't do a very good job straining this first little batch, so we're gonna go empty this out. It's pretty clean, but I wanted to put this cloth down this time. I should have done it first time. Okay. I have a lot of stuff in this big jar. thing about this jar is I can't hold it very well at all. I'm afraid I'm going to dump it. Still quite a bit of oil in here. I don't know if I let you know what this. This was Echinacea lavender yarrow chamomile calendula and coconut oil. I did it August. So it's been in there two months. Alright. Maybe one more. Well, let's just let that sit. And then I'll squeeze it out. Alright. Why that is going. I told you I had lots of things going today. So after it has set for a little bit, all you have to do is pull it up together and just get a hold of it so that all the petals and things stay in and just give it a little squeeze. It probably sit here for, oh, I don't know, maybe an hour by the time I was doing everything else. And I came back and did this. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Let's see, I squeezed out a little bit more. So, not too hard. Okay, we're going to try second use. Because, I don't know, do it in smaller batches. Mm, my hands are going to be so soft.
he got mushed up. Oh, about lost it. this mess. Okay, do you guys do that? Huh? You go collect things and get it all around and then next thing you know you got how many containers? Mess. You can't consolidate. Had to keep that over it keep the cat out of it. We're going to try a pickle jar. There you go. I still probably should have a paper towel. I like the, I love the smell of the iced tea. everything up. Looky there. I don't think I need to mark them, do you? It's just for us and we only grew black eyed peas. <laughs> we all know what this is. Alright. Eight ounces. Okay. So I used it was to here, so I used what, two or more. So ten ounces. Looks like it fills it up to there. I'm not gonna use this bottle though, I'm gonna let it dry out. Okay, we'll reset this in a minute when I'm ready. Alrighty, guys. I ordered this off of Amazon. I'll leave the link. They're Madagascar. Supposed to have two and a half per eight ounces, so I'm gonna say three, and they look like they will fit. So I'm gonna start there. See, they look like they'll fit down in there because you're gonna fill it there. So we're gonna cut these, open them up, 
Let's see if we got a knife sharp enough. All right. I'm not really trying to cut through it. I'm just trying to cut down it. You guys see that? Sorry. Okay. I'm going to put it down in there. I don't know to do too, too much. I think it'll matter. Okay. Let's only do three for now until the mother bottles get dried out. Hmm. These are already, some of them already cut. talking to my girlfriend and I asked her if she would like this that I'm making for a Christmas present. She said, well, yeah. Well, you guys, somebody gave you a jar of homemade vanilla extract. I mean, if you would want one. I think I would. Somebody's just going to give that to me for Christmas. Yeah. That one's kind of thin. Oh, look at that good stuff. Okay. Because I measured it to the tops of all these, I know where to fill it up. All right, that better. Oh, not finish that one off. It's just something you got to have something above 40%. And this is 50%. It's 100. But as long as it's 40% scent, that's what you need. <laughs> Make sure you get a bottle that has a really good seal. Oh, well, look, it's already getting stuff in it. But, uh, they said the best amount of time. I hear a lot of uh, six months, but the best I've heard that to make it where it's really worth using is a year. So I'm going to start it from now. Somebody will be getting these. I'm going to make three more when they get dried out. I don't want wet down on the bottle. These three were dried out. 
and living for a year and I'll have homemade vanilla extract. Got to figure out how to get some labels. One step at a time. Oh. This one is too full, so I got to do something with it. <laughs> 